Hey folks, it's Chris here with uh, Sticky's Cabana podcast vlog. Uh, this is season one, episode seven. And today I've got guests with me, uh, Need Bale. Uh, have you all gentlemen please introduce yourselves, tell us what y'all do in the band. Hey, I'm Kirk and uh, I do vocals and rhythm guitar and a little bit of lead. I'm Curtis. I uh, play drums, percussion, whatever needs to be smacked on. Smacked. <laughs> and I'm Nico. I play the bass. Play the bass. There we go. So, uh, one big one big topic that's going to be brought up in this. I might as well get it out get it out early. Jared. Yes. Yeah. So you guys are missing somebody. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's been it's been a, a ride. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I can imagine. So wow. you know, yeah, Jared was in a car wreck. Uh, Three days before Christmas, uh, it's been a heck of a ride. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know uh, how has that affected everything that you guys are doing? I think that uh, a it's lot twisted a lot. it all the way around. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Jared like, was a huge part. Yeah. He was a good down. driving force. We were trying to figure out our sound more solidly with him, and we were you know playing off ideas, yeah. and we were getting there, and then. Yeah. Basically, get a text in the middle of the night that Jared might be dead. Yeah. yeah. Well. And we're uh, we've just been trying sort of to taking it one practice at a time since yeah, then. Yeah. Really, just trying to restructure some stuff. Restructure, some, play you know, what we got. You guys you know. have somebody filling in a little bit right now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sage. Sage, coming yeah. In. Yeah. Sage is great. He yeah. brings a huge dynamic to yeah. to what we do. And uh, I remember playing one of our older songs with him, and and then it, the whole room just filled with sound. So it was oh, yeah. really really yeah. good. I like. Magic we room. love having Sage. And you guys know the good news. Uh, Jared is on the mend. He's all right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's great it's awesome news. to hear. You know, yeah. and uh, yeah. pro he's probably going to be away for minimal from music. Actually, being able to play again probably Years. four to five months, probably. Oh, okay. that's yeah. it. That'd be minimal. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. Give him, wow. give him plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, wow. like it's, that's that's sooner yeah. than what yeah. I originally thought. Hopefully, sooner thought. than that, even. You yeah, know? yeah. Hopefully, wow. the next day. You know, for luck. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Be nice. Yeah, yeah. He's he's itching to get out. I yeah, can tell I'm you all sure. Now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you talk to him. I've talked to him. He got his phone, and he was ecstatic to have his phone. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, it was just really nice talking to him. And, and you know, well, he was getting emotional, and I could yeah. see it. So it was probably time to just slow the convo down. And and uh, I was just really good hearing from him. I can imagine. Yeah. Well, um, so one question I like to ask everybody. Um, you know, uh, 2020. Did you all play in 2020? Or were you all? Uh, Not 2020. 20, no, no in 21 we did. So I've been, yeah. I'm the newest yeah. member, yeah. and but I came in, what was it, March of yeah. last year yeah, of 21? March. Yeah, it was March. I've know. been yeah. part of the band for a year. Yeah. yeah. Ish. Well, that's not yeah. too bad then. So with 21 around, and uh, the Big C was still in full swing. You okay. know, Backstreet Boys reunion tour, you know, oh, yeah. all that stuff. The yeah, Backstreet Boys. Really the Bud Light. <laughs> yes. The Bud Light, yes, yeah. 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 You know, it was all there. Did, did it affect anything with how you all did shows? Did you all see a difficulty getting shows over that? I would say not really. I mean, we busked, you know, we did some busking yeah. around. and around Like, town. we were going to busk in front of, uh, what, Chipotle? downtown Ch yeah chipotle and they were gonna let us do it you know right there on the street let us yeah. plug into their system and that was yep. cool and subway was really cool about yeah. letting us plug in all we needed was one plug because we had plenty of yeah. Yeah. barbershop now yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but it's all outside it's not really yeah. indoors yeah. so i think right. it, it was a little bit looser on that whole restrictions, restrictions and, yeah and you're kind of going out yeah. if they want to show up they can if they don't want to show up don't show up yeah. exactly makes sense but y'all played at the cabana Yes. yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, several yeah. times. Several yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. Three or four. I'd be willing to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we had an. I was thinking we know the owner. Six. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. You, you happen to know one of the owners? We know the, we, we know the owner. Yeah, you know, yeah, know yeah. all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Can y'all tell us anything good about the cabana that y'all like? Yeah, a lot. I love the cabana. <laughs> the, the The atmosphere is fantastic. Back in the way, out in the country, it, yeah. it, just playing outdoors is amazing. Uh, and and my favorite part about it are the people that occupy it. Like yeah. like I've never met the you know such good people. So well, I, I go. love it. Oh, see, what I love is so Columbia is the biggest city I've ever lived in. I'm from yeah. Christ. Bum nowhere, Isle, Minnesota, <laughs> seven hundred people, and so going kind of from. To me as a country boy the what i would consider a city vibe yeah, i'm right there with you don't feel more bad. back to boy. something that's it feels like home yeah. i mean yeah it's very it's, homey 
Yeah. Comfortable for me. It's out in the middle of nowhere of the woods. Yeah. Only problem is I can't throw a rock in here or plunk wherever I want. <laughs> no, close, though. There is a pond on the backside yeah. there. But it's not a lake. You don't no. want to go over there, no. though. <laughs> if you fall in the pond, you have too much of the not, uh, cabana shit. I am not touching any <laughs> pond in this state. I, I have found that out the hard way. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just like that we can turn it up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, turn yeah. up the volume. That's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Minus the one neighbor. Man, he'll, yeah. he'll be all right. Yeah. He'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We'll bring him around. Yep. You already told him it wasn't okay. going to be quiet. No, I did. That was funny. Yeah, that was funny. I, yeah, whenever I was building the stage, um, I told him. Uh, he's he's like, oh, what's that over there? I said, well, that's where I'm putting a fire pit in. He's like, oh yeah, why is it? I said, well, I like to sit around a fire pit with some guys, play some music, you know, uh, drink a couple cold ones, you know, uh, have a good time. He said, well, what's going on there in the middle? So that's where my stage is going in. And he looks at me like, what? I said, yeah, you know, I own a record label. I said, I like to have musicians out from time to time. And he's like, man, it's a quiet neighborhood. I said, well, not anymore. Not it's not. Anymore, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. and it never has been. Right. You're going to learn today. He didn't move far enough out. Yeah, in that's the, middle the problem. Of nowhere. That was the problem. Not far enough out, but it's it's never it never has been quiet there, really. I was going to say, oh, no. or too far out, because, you know, a lot of those yeah. festival <laughs> stages are, yeah. like, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, they yeah. are. So it's like, the more far out you get, the more chances are you got music popping up. Is there any downfalls, anything bad about the cabana that y'all tell me about that needs to be improved? The stage is bouncy. <laughs> it's bouncy yes. for sure. Yeah, the yeah. trampoline stage? Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 We, we are definitely going to... Uh, here in March, April, we're going to make a work day. Anybody feels free to come out and help. Um, we're going to do a work day. We're going to take the stage up, the floor up. We're going to put the flooring that's on there now on the walls of the stage. We're going to paint them. And then every musician that plays out there autographs it. Yeah, that's good. You know? awesome. yeah. But we're going to put a, we're going to re-brace up that floor for sure. We're going to put some new gravel in. We're going to fix up the bar a little bit more. Awesome. Um, you know, we're going to put an outhouse in. We're going to build our own. We're gonna hook it into my sewage. Well, right. let me ask you. A That's quick not question. an outhouse. Right. What? Uh, how has it affected you with with <laughs> Big Man uh, doing a lot of that work and stuff out there? That's so, probably yeah. been interesting yeah. for you to try to find somebody yeah. else to. Yeah. So that's yeah. why we're throwing in a work day. Okay. Uh, we're gonna throw out a couple work days. We've got uh, so basically the other th uh, three owners, myself, <clears throat> Lucas, and Topher, yeah. are going to come out and do what we can. But right. we don't know nothing compared to what Jared did. Yeah. You know, and uh, so we're going to have, you know, we Lifeline's already said that they're going to come out and help us. Uh, mm -hmm. Fire White, mm -hmm. Draven Morningstar, um, you know, there's a handful of people that yeah. have said, yeah, yeah, come out and help us. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do work days. Well, I'll tell you right now, you give me a wrench and I'll stub my toe. If you give me a knife, <laughs> I'll feed the whole city. <laughs> I'm not kidding, but yeah. I don't know what it is about tools, but I, know, I'm I'll, right there with I'll you. haul wood for you. Yeah. So you, when y'all, when y'all go out to shows and stuff, what all do y'all take with you? I take, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you, you got the big one. I take my drum set. I don't take all of it because yeah. I don't need every single piece for the kind of music that we play. Two sets, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I have an acoustic set, Tama, Swing Star, and then a Roland T17D, something like that, yeah. uh, electric. And I love that thing because yeah. it's cool. make it sound like anything. Yeah. Thanks, pretty neat. I've oh seen my it. god, yeah. it, it's amazing. And I've only had it for maybe about a year now, and I just love it. What, what's that one thing I saw you happen to have at a? Uh, when you were busking oh that turtle shell yeah yeah we call it the turtle shell it's like a steel drum yeah yeah i love that thing too like i said i'll beat on anything really. that's pretty neat yeah yeah i love the way that turtle sounds shell. uh i'm easy because the bass player i just got my amp i got my bass distortion pedal yeah Nope. That's it. And well, then he still complains about carrying stuff. Hey, I'm a little <laughs> guy, all right? I know, but still, dude, don't complain in front of me. Complain in front of him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He'll understand I usually start more. complaining in front of him, yeah. and you pop up out of nowhere, yeah. all right? Yeah, no, Shush. Well, I, I do help. had to take this yeah. bad boy uh, around a few times because I, when we started, only had a, I only had a little bit of equipment. Like, I had to just playing on this little Fender you know, 50 watt practice amp. So yeah. I would happen to slave that bad boy, put it on top and run it through here. Mm -hmm. um, but now I'm super excited because I am able to keep up with wattage yeah. because I got a new amplifier. So it's got two tens in a cabinet uh, or two twelves in a cabinet and uh, it's got lots of really cool stuff. I like can I can make it sound all kinds of ways. And we've got you all set up for a show <clears throat> late late September, <laughs> early October with uh, Bomb and Lifeline. That's perfect. You know, yeah. it, it'll be a remake of uh, last year's, uh, you know, end of the season show, basically. Do you guys have <laughs> plans here for 2022? 
Oh yeah, reinventing the sound. You know, yeah. trying to find uh, you know, something we can work with with Sage, hopefully, yeah. or or with just the three of us. Yeah. You know, that's another option. Just keeping us three. Yeah. Well, and uh, seeing what we can do. A thing that Sage helps us with is before Jared's time untimely accident uh we were talking about kind of dropping our sound making it heavier because mm -hmm. i grew up as the emo alternative kid back in the noughties kirk likes heavier hard rock curtis i'm guessing is a metal head because he talks about tool <laughs> and a couple other bands and i'm like oh, yeah. eh and <laughs> Who else Jared brought, about another, <laughs> Jared totally brought like another band <laughs> yes, that drummer. are drawing yeah, a blank off my Dan head, Dan but he's Dan roughly Dan. my age. Uh, but after his accident, we were kind of at a loss. Yeah. Curtis here had an adorable little boy yeah. that yeah. I just want to go kidnap currently. Oh, yeah. Fresh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fresh. Thank you. But we were, we were kind of at a loss, at least with Kirk and I, because we do work with each other, so we get to talk a lot about the band when we're not busy and, and what we want to do where we want to we go. weren't exactly sure where to go we had a few set a few practice sessions with sage coming in yeah. mm -hmm. and he's helped us just kind of start getting a better idea of what we want yeah. and, and getting you know for yeah. Sure. yeah and he's yeah. a, i mean he's a metal guitarist i don't yeah. know what genre i'd once again, see, I'll kid. tell you why I like but, Sage is because we can throw out whatever it is that we do, and he can just add to it with whatever he does, and I'm completely confident that what he's going to do is make. Well, he adds to it. He yeah. bring. He's like, okay, you know, I don't like the sound of that. With the way you guys are doing it, let's try a different key real quick. That's what we need. Let's try this. You know, yeah. and yeah, he. Yeah. I'm a guy who I bought a bass when I was in high school. I picked at it. Been in a couple bands. I don't know. Crap. <laughs> when it actually yeah. comes to the music theory of it, Join I got a few books, yeah. but yeah. I've always been decent enough to, you know, Kirk throws something on the guitar, I'm able to follow along, yeah. and I've come up with a couple ideas here and there that we just goof around with. Well, Jared taught me at one chord. I know G, and I there don't even go. know if I even know remember where it's at. But, but that's one know. of the hard ones. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was hard to get them fingers to work <laughs> that hard way. Ones. I was yeah. gonna say any of the B's. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Forget yeah. the so you gotta make a G with your hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically. Yeah. basically, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. basically. Yeah. it sort of looks like. Yeah, that. it's a little different with you. Isn't right. It? Yeah. Doesn't make sense when you do C and it's like. Well, Curtis uh, is always I'm, playing in the wrong key. I'm yeah. always in the yeah. wrong. <laughs> That's key. what I hear. I hear that. All the freaking. That's time. what I hear about a lot of drummers. They're always in the wrong key. <laughs> I mean, I try. Yeah. I try to get it in there. I, try I just to can't get it up there. But we go ahead and play anyway. Yeah, we make it through it. You make it through it. Yeah, I've got some good plans then for for 2022 for sure with with everything going on. Yeah, I'm excited for a new sound and just trying to you know get some new stuff going yeah. and yeah. it'll come together you know, and we're working on it we've got new materials already yeah so. yeah. yeah well that's awesome Early though stages. i'm glad you guys are able to keep pushing forward even oh, yeah. though with you know whenever there was tragedy you guys were able to work yeah. through it and keep going yeah that you know? sucked yeah and it, and it revolved a lot around him for oh sure, yeah you yeah know? it did you know because yeah. like we had to cut like a pretty much it and i think we only <laughs> saved three songs possibly yeah. out of you know you an know, album's so worth yeah out of yeah. you know almost having 12 or 14 oh. songs ready yeah. yeah so yeah it definitely hurt no i can but i can really imagine for sure. i think our drive we definitely want to make him proud and yeah yeah you know absolutely yeah. I, I think he will be by the oh, time yeah. he hears oh, yeah. what we've come oh, up yeah. with yeah. i think he's going to be all on board and i'm just excited for it you guys are going to pull off a little bit of acoustic act here for us tonight yeah. Yeah. um if you all will tell me what you all have with you Oh, what instrument you mean? Yeah, instrument-wise. Uh, this is an Alvarez. I, I love Alvarez. I play, um, I have two different acoustic Alvarez. It's, um, this was the cheaper one, and it sounds way better than the one I spent a lot of money on, so we're just going to go go with this one today. This is my baby. And that's why, for my electric bass, I just have a Squire J bass, <laughs> yep. because it sounded better than my neighbor's when I was growing up, and he spent like three grand on it. Uh, <laughs> what I have here, though, is an X-Tone five-string. It's acoustic electric are supposed to be i can't i gotta figure out the electrical part it broke uh but i'm not i don't use the top string but it was a friend was selling it pretty cheap yeah. and it's a decent guitar i got a great deal and so it's go. what i pick with awesome curtis on the kajan yeah He's i got the, the manel kajan extra xl 
So yeah. it's a little extra large, a little sitting, so it's a little more he's, room. He's big more cool, though. It's a yeah. box. Oh, yeah. So some musicians name their instruments. Any, any names? Isabel. Isabel? Yeah. yeah. Isabella. Isabella. Slappy. Uh, I don't have one for this yet. Yeah. Well, Slappy. Like Slappy. 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 I like it. So you guys are playing some uh, originals for us? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 right. yeah. Uh, The name Say. of this is, is called uh, All Out of Breath. All right, you ready? So you guys want to tell me what that one's about? Oh man, uh, you know this is a very new song for me. Um, I did the lyrics on this one. Um, uh, great bass line, great great drum line. I love it. Um, but this is just being out of out of energy with life and everything that it throws at you. And I roll. I put this together uh, when 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 Jared, you know, uh, the last few. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it just has a lot to do. I was just really emotionally overwhelmed with all this stuff that happened. And, and, and I think that that emotion really just helped me put the song together. And, uh, and so far, that's what we've come up with. And it sounds really good plugged in. Yeah, it really does. Good. It does. It sounds good acoustically. Yeah, I love it because so. it gives it a whole other version. Yeah. You plug it in put some hard distortion behind it. It's really jamming. There we go. Jared, uh, Jared had a big piece of this with me as well we made a couple of videos on acoustic of him doing this and and this was back before we all started getting together so but he helped me put this together so uh here you go buddy this one's for you <laughs> It's a feeling that keeps creeping inside of me 
just had to talk it out with somebody God, I hate how you keep choosing to fuck with me I've been there, done that, don't you forget I'm anything but clean I'm not perfect, I don't want that burning on top of me I hope to God you find your way I can't stay, you'll drag it Yeah, it is a good one. Yeah. So what's what's that one more about? Man, that uh, that is about my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's not just her, man. Like there was a lot mixed in there, man. I was I was doing a lot of stupid stuff at the time, man. I was using dope and all kinds yeah. of dumb shit, and and it just uh, that that's that's what came out. You know what I mean? And I was holding myself back, and she was holding me back, and and, and that's just kind of the nature of, of of that business. It makes sense. Nature of the beast. Yeah, I'm telling you. So you guys got one more? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. Well, for one, the song is still a work in progress. The lyrics need to be worked on. Uh, I was not in a good space when I wrote this. Uh, most of these guys know I was still relatively new to the band. I had a kind of a run-in with a friend. And honestly, I thought I'd lost one of the greatest gals I've ever known in my life. Uh, and I got a little wine in me that night <laughs> and started listening to a bunch of sappy stuff and it popped in my head. And, and it all came I all over after that. wrote down some lyrics and this will be <laughs> we. We hardly actually touched this song because, yeah. as band, Kirk and I have kind of picked at the lyrics. It, 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 it needs it, work, it's coming but away. it's yeah. something that I want to keep going for in a sense. To it's an apology to her overall of my behavior that day, and it's a good story, and, uh, and it made for a good song. Well, also on. Uh, <laughs> you did not push the button. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, well, you want to give it to him? Do it.
song ever yeah. since i first read it i was like it's yeah. gonna be good yeah kirk helped kind of you know structure it and everything but oh nick will hear and his stinky shine, oh, okay. his stinky shine. His stinky <laughs> shine. <laughs> i'm about to give me some of that head action over there and you're sitting too far away Dude, it's bro. nice i know it's, it's nice a luxury. Smooth, it's a luxury yeah. though hey, hey, most people don't about it all day <laughs> <laughs> right on well yeah. thank y'all yeah, yeah thanks, thanks for having me yeah thank nice. you we've mm-hmm. got y'all playing at the benefit coming up yeah for exciting for jared you know yeah We've got that, uh, you guys are playing May 7th. Yeah, um, be We've got, in two days' time, we've got 13 different music acts playing. Hmm. Um, yeah. We've got... Yeah, that's nuts. Um, we've got <laughs> food trucks coming out. We've got yeah. vendors. We've got silent auction going on, which we items are being donated in from different people for the silent auction. Right. It's going to be, it's going to be like a, a mini festival wrapped into two days. Basically, it's what it is at the cabana. Friday night, the food truck that's coming, or we've got two food trucks coming out Friday night. We've got Zydeco's, and we've got uh, the Cajun, and then uh. and then we have uh, Southern Style Barbecue. They're coming out of California, Missouri. They're coming awesome. up. Mm-hmm. And then Zydeco's has got to leave after Friday night, and Barbecue Guy's going to be back again for Saturday. We've got several vendors coming out. Um, I love trying new food trucks and stuff, too, because yeah. they've got some really authentic recipes. We got, I do, too. I'm still just too much of a northerner when it comes to Cajun. Oh, you remember <laughs> I the, don't mind Cajun. You remember the uh, mm. pork rinds that came out last year? Yeah. The, the yeah. Four Little Piggies pork rinds? Yeah. They're going to be there. Oh, they yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah I remember those. Oh, those are good. I love yeah. pork rinds. They got 23 flavors. Lord, Damn, I, huh? I didn't yeah. even know there's that many. Yeah. I thought there was, like, regular and 23 different barbecue. flavors. They're going to be there for that show. Um, <laughs> we've got a... A, a lady that's coming in that does a bunch of baked goods and stuff. You guys are playing for that. Jared will be watching that. You know, he'll be there. We're, oh, yeah. we're, we're probably 90% sure that he's going to make it for the benefit. Fantastic. So, yeah, that's going to be awesome. You know, that'll be Fantastic. awesome. You know, yeah, so you guys can. a little can, harder, you know, get yeah. in there and definitely yeah. raise the spirits up. Yeah, he, he, his, his exact words were, uh, his mom told him about the benefit. And he's like, what? Well, means I have to get out of here and get get better and get that's out right, of here. That's right, you do. So I be there for that. <laughs> right. You know, Damn. so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a trooper. He, he is, is, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so another thing I like to do is I like to ask uh, questions that 
kind of bring out some funny sides of stuff of, oh. of y'all. And uh -oh. it, it, so that way people can see, hey, these guys aren't just musicians. These guys are actual people as well, you know, and they He's have not. a lifestyle. He's, He's not. not. Yeah. He He's actually not. an alien. Yeah. Nico's yeah. an alien. Is that the shaved head? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's so you can put the skin suit on. Yep. And that's why yeah. we want to, yeah. you know, just... <laughs> yeah, you might want to do that real quick. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. See that? Yeah. There it One is. Time for luck. <laughs> one time for luck. But a, some baby a powder. couple of the questions I like to ask. We'll start with one for y'all. Um, y'all tell me a story from your old childhood. Something funny from your old childhood. I know you, you got to go way back, right? <laughs> I had to go way back, yeah. man. I'm telling you what. Um, I, gosh, I don't even know. Like, all I do these days is cook. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, but it it, it wasn't all great starting out because you have to make mistakes when you learn like i i can remember one time like instead of i made a grilled cheese and, and, and instead of putting the butter side down i put the cheese side down because i just didn't quite register i was i don't know it was like 12 13 you know like i have nothing like Did honestly that's the funniest no no no, no. i had to screw up a few gr grilled cheeses before i i, I figured <laughs> out how to make it properly yeah i know it's funny to him because that's yeah. what we do is cook yeah. all day so but <laughs> Well, there you go. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, uh, mine would be, uh, I was, so I, I was working at a place and there was a guy there and, uh, he wore watches, mm -hmm. you know, he, he was a watch guy and everything. We was pretty cool. We, we would try to joke with each other all the time. Well, he went out for a smoke break and I don't smoke at that time. Yeah. So I sat in his spot cause he was one of the only areas that had a chair. So I just sat down for break and I saw a little clock he had on the desk and whatever so i decided you know I, i'll set it an hour ahead he's not going to notice you know he'll look at his watch or he'll you know notice another time it's not right so i went ahead and set it an hour ahead and then they all come back i went back to my work area and we started working and lunchtime starts rolling around and next thing you know he's getting his coat his lunch box and everything getting it ready to go out for lunch and he's sitting there, standing there, just with everything ready, looking around like, why the heck isn't nobody else getting ready for lunch? <laughs> yeah. You know, what's going on? And uh, I, I hear people kind of talking, because I didn't think it was even going to work. I was just, I thought he was going to find out somehow, some way. And his, he had a trainee at the time, and the trainee starts getting ready for lunch like he did. So the next thing you know, I'm like, oh, no, they're not, you know, they're, they stopped working or whatever. So I, I run over and everybody's laughing. They're like, well, what's going on over there? And I start telling everybody, oh, I said his clock in our head. And they started just busting up laughing. And then he <laughs> find out, he found out, everybody, he started seeing everybody laughing. He looked at him. He realized he wasn't late yeah. as what he thought he was. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. early for He was at way early yeah. an hour early. He was so <coughs> mad. He was super he mad. He would have been too. <laughs> yeah. But everybody thought it was hilarious. And. He kept saying he was going to get me back, but he never did. He ain't got nothing yet. But, man, I had him going. It was, it was hilarious. That's, that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it involves the fact that I did not learn how to ride a bicycle till I was, like, 13, maybe 14. Because, yeah. uh, you know, most kids get it down between 6 and 8, at oh, least yeah. with my knees because oh, yeah. of size. I was about 7 or 8, and... Riding, trying to learn without the training wheels. I'm starting to get it. Well, my house was bottom of the cul-de-sac of after a hill. I'm up in the cul-de-sac and neighbors helping me out. I got it. Okay, okay. I go down. I'm zooming. I'm having fun. I finally learned how to ride a bike. I turned the corner. My dad just pulled in with two by four sticking out of the back of the truck. Next thing I knew... My throat hurt real bad, and I was off my bike. <laughs> I don't Close remember. Yeah, oh, I don't remember much past that. Uh, for at least twenty minutes, yeah. you got my, jacked up. <laughs> yeah, my dad said I. He says my I hit that I hit my forehead, but <laughs> I remember hurt. my neck just. Yeah. Maybe it's whiplash. I don't know. I yeah. did not. Uh, so I was terrified yeah. of bicycles until I was in my early teens. Yeah. But and, did, did you at least learn how to dismount after that the proper way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually when I was big enough for yeah. the bike that I had, because the bike I had was my older brother's for a while. Yeah. And yeah. 
I was shorter than him until late teens. Yeah. One leg at a time, baby. One yeah. leg at well, a time. <laughs> oh, now he's mad. I'm taller than him. Well, the problem is with me, whenever I was learning to ride a bike, I didn't dismount the right way. So I, you know, kind of similar with yours. Jump off. No, I just fall over. <laughs> and and I had yeah. a problem, as you can tell, I guess you can tell, of, find, of landing on my face a lot, you know? I mean... So, Abort. Well, yeah, and the problem was, everybody's like, my dad was like, turn your head. And I'm like, but then I won't know when I'm going to hit. You know? And, yeah. Point, you did like a Rowan Martin's laugh-in where she's on the bike. and it. Yeah. It, just, it was like a face first thing. Right. Yeah. Awesome. It was. It was great. So another question that I like to ask is, uh, I like to get everybody a little off their game. Uh, oh. Anybody believe in some uh, conspiracy theories? Uh, cryptoids? Anything like that? You know, some things are too coincidental yeah. to be untrue. They, that they are. Yeah. That they are. And I know this is a bad question for you because of what you're doing in <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> So when it comes to cryptid, supernatural, the spooky, the things that go bump, bump in, in the, the night, night. Uh, uh, oh. I love it. Yeah. I've, I'm a huge history geek. I'm... Trying to finish up my <coughs> bachelor's and master's at the same time for it. Uh, my bachelor's mainly just so I can finally step out of the kitchen after 17 years. And, yeah. I mean, my main focus is European history, mainly the Middle East, evil and dark ages. It's so much fun. I'm a fantasy geek. I play D and D, but I've also grew up, profile? and I yeah. love yeah, <laughs> basically. I, hey, you gotta sell yourself, right? Yeah. But uh, no, I, during that time researching and doing my own history, I've fallen in love with the monsters. I love the creatures and how they've influenced society around here in Boone County. We have quite a bit. I mm -hmm. mean, my brother lives right down the street from Briarwood Manor, which yeah. is one of the most haunted locations in Mid Missouri. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you get closer to Springfield, St. Louis. and there's the Nixa yeah. Hellhound. Yeah. Uh, that it's it's a basically a giant Thunderbird. I'm drawing a blank on the name, but that's the one from yeah. kind of the St. Louis, Southern Illinois area, and yeah. it's basically known as a god to the Native Americans. The Phoenix of the time yeah. no it's not no. a phoenix no. but it's more of a thunderbird but yeah. like 10 times the well, size st louis you got the lamp mansion uh, that's oh, i've heard of that most haunted places i haven't around. gone there yeah never heard of it where's yeah. that well, uh, what happens in there i don't know exactly but i just like, know not to go there uh, <laughs> hey bro you could find video after video yeah, and just look yeah. it up on youtube yeah. Yeah. like you can go to the state penitentiary ten yeah. The yeah state penitentiary yeah. down the walls in, yeah. uh my dad worked jeff there. and Oh man, have I heard stories out yeah. of there? And I've walked through there in the middle of the day. <laughs> and I wanted to leave after about an yeah. hour of boredom because yeah. nothing happened. Yeah, see? That's what I'm And then about. I walked by a cell and the whole door just slammed shut oh, hell right man. next to me, scared oh, you? the crap out of this <laughs> tour guide. And I they had to force me to leave after that point because I didn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah. I love, but I was also asking way too many questions that they didn't know the answers to, and so I went to the city archives and started diving. So, so the ghost yeah. thing is there. What about Bigfoot? Man, some of those photos I've seen are are, are compelling. Yeah, I swear I, I saw him when I was fourteen. I swear, Did you? I swear yeah. on everything. Holy, I was bow hunting. Where was yeah. he though? I was in Southern Missouri. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, that's Missouri. Well, that's yeah, get it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I was bow hunting. So I, I I was hunting with another individual, another guy um, that I've known for forty years now, and uh, I was hunting, and, and this thing came down this ravine. It was fall of the year, so you could see everything real well. Came mm -hmm. up onto this plateau like we were at, turned sideways, looked at us, and you we could see him plain as day. See this thing plain as day, sixty yards out. Yeah. And made a grunting sound and took off into the field. And we watched oh. it run all the way through the field. Christ. And I looked over at him and I was like, did you see that? He goes, you ain't ready yet? Uh -oh. Yeah, we were ready to go home. It was yeah. time to go home. Uh, <laughs> what I love stories about the American Bigfoot. And I will say, I don't know much about the Yeti and yeah. whatnot. I know they're supposed to be cousins. But lore wise, I don't know anything about the Yeti. But what I love is you can actually take the dramatic werewolf mm -hmm. in comparison to what we know as Bigfoot here in the U.S. Right. And you can see the similarities. You can see how the stories probably came over from 
Europe. Yeah. Here to Midwest yeah. America. Well, wait, yeah. look, it kind of gets crazy. It's like it's that game, you know what I'm saying, where you sit in a circle and and you say one thing in the ear and then you say it well, and you telephone. say it and then by the time you yeah. get to it, it's not the same. It, you know, what it's I mean? not the so, same. And then you also got to throw in the fact that uh, the like the werewolf story right. started. Right. I want to say 1300s Germany. Yeah. Right. Well, we're now in 2000s. <laughs> that's a long game of telephone. <laughs> yeah. But we that's why lore is fun. Although, on that note, Sticky, uh -huh. are you a cryptid? Because I <laughs> only know you by the name of Sticky. Uh -huh. It took me forever to actually realize your real name. Yeah. Uh, so, how did you come about said nickname? Oh, here we go. Said nickname. So, every episode, somebody asked me how I became Sticky, how my name became Sticky. And so, it's up to you all, the viewer, to figure out which story I tell is the real story or not. And the first person that can let us know uh, what the real story is, I'll give you a jar of my moonshine. So, sticky yeah, shine. sticky shine. Oh, yeah. It's worth it. It's worth it. It is, because oh, yeah. you all know yeah. that. So, it's yeah. Fire. Lo and behold, imagine this. Oh. I got sticky from moonshine. So, I was making a batch of moonshine one time, and, and I had stepped out from just making just straight up moonshine to different flavors and everything. And I decided, you know, let's try something sweet. So, I tried birthday cake. So I got a bunch of birthday cakes and stuff and ho-hos and all these little Debbies and stuff and we made it, put it down in the mash. Well, out in the woods when you got your uh, sti your got your still side out and you got your mash side, I open it up and what's the squirrel decide to do but jump in? So, of course, I'm reaching for this squirrel and I fell in about up to here, Damn. face first into the into the mash. Bed, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I had I came up out of it, of course, and got the squirrel away and everything, but then leaves, sticks, acorns... Ho -hos. Every, ho every, <laughs> everything decided to stick to me, and my buddy was like, "Sticky, what's going on?" You know, You're sticky. So, and it just kind of stuck from there. And, you know, seventeen years later, here it is. Sticky is here. And he's sticky here to stay. Yeah. I haven't heard the other story, so I'm not saying yay or nay on that one. I know one thing: I'm not taking any of the birthday cake moonshine. <laughs> not with squirrel and sticky in it. Exactly. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, we, we we tried it again here not long ago the uh, birthday cake and it, I cannot perfect it. The sugars are so uh, high in that that I just can't get it to taste Shine right. Out. So one other question I like to ask is, uh, you know, if somebody were to walk in and see y'all practicing or something, and they were to say, "Hey guys, how do I get into doing what you guys are doing?" What would y'all tell them? First, you got to push the button. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what I mean by that is. Uh, <coughs> Push the dang button. You know, you got that meme out there where the guy can't decide between which one. Well, forget about it. I mean, like I stated earlier, I don't know any technicalities mm -hmm. and techniques officially or any theory when it comes to my instrument. Mm -hmm. But I've got a good enough ear. I've done music performances. I used to be in theater when I was in grade school. And I love music. Mm -hmm. But... The thing is, you got to get the knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it's actually something I learned from a teacher back in high school. He taught us knowledge is the key to independent thought. Well, I short I shorted that myself. I actually got it tattooed on my arm just to say knowledge is the key. What? Because yeah. whatever yeah. you want to do in your life, it involves the knowledge. I mean, both Kirk and I, we enjoy cooking. Yeah. Where did we start? Well, we probably started in the fry pit of or the dish pit of any kitchen we worked in. Yeah. We had to learn. Uh, I, I'll be honest, I have no idea what Curtis does for work, <laughs> but he he, pro he had to start off. That's the problem. Yeah, he had to start off as a complete newbie doing the most gruntle of the gruntle stuff oh, yeah. to wherever whatever position he's at. Yeah. There, I mean it. You know, you want to go work on cars? Yeah. Go. Go pick up a wrench. Go, you know, learn from mom, dad, grandma, grandpa nowadays. Yeah. I mean, your uncles, yeah. if you want to go learn to cook, well, go join us in hell, basically. Yeah. Uh, it's love, but, but it's, it's hate. Yeah. But it is about the grunt work, though. And, 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 and as long as a newbie is ready to 
to to you know play whatever a musical horror is with yeah. what it's better known as you know what i mean like you better sing happy birthday if somebody's gonna pay you for it at some yeah. kid's party you know yeah. but uh Man, if somebody was a rookie and, and, and starting out, I would just, it's all about networking. You know what I mean? So I, I would say, well, I know this person and that person, and they would be really good to intertwine with your skills that you have. I know them people, too. Exactly. Yeah. You know them? Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, see, it's, I mean, it's, we're all yeah. it's then, then you have a It's getting your knowledge yeah. together. I mean, like where I said earlier, I'm the newest member of yeah. Me Bale, and I had no idea. Kirk did anything besides, you know, pick at the guitar because he'd bring it to work every once in a while and we'd goof off if we had time. And yeah, he started talking about needing a bass player. What? And then he asked me, what? Then he dragged me to, to a practice right after work the same day. Not by his hair. What? Yeah, there, there ain't in there. <laughs> yeah, not by my hair. <laughs> yeah, make fun of the bald guy. That's right. <laughs> We've been going, we've been going hard but, since, though. Yeah. You know, I I didn't know Curtis. I didn't know Jared. I had no idea who Sticky was. To be honest, you scared me when I first met yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah. got that intimidating yeah. presence. You know, I've been like told that before. I don't know but, why. Yeah. You know, it... He's a teddy bear. It, I am. It's the networking. It's the knowledge. You... I would say the knowledge is your first step. If you want to learn your instrument, mm -hmm. you know, or what do you want to play? Yeah. Tell, tell me what you want to play. Yeah. Basic, what kind of start, style? Start, start with the basics. One. Start with your knowledge. Yeah. Then you got to get into the knowledge of networking. You know, hey, I know this band. They they play a couple shows. How well? How do they get into that? You know, do they have a manager? Do they do their own social media? This and that. Well, for you a rookie to, though, you got to keep it simple. Then. Right. You know, but I mean, step by step, every step you're gaining knowledge, yeah. and you have to know. At least the basics of yeah. that next step of what you want to do to obtain that key. What you do with the key, different story. You push the button. There you go. Yeah, you, you push, push the, the button. button. <laughs> you take the key and you push the button because you don't want to get the big C. Bingo. Well, you you got yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. use the key to unlock the button, remember? <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. you're at the back street. Always, oh, that's the part. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, you're at the back street. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Sean Evans' uh, Hot Ones on YouTube. Oh, you know, yeah, with, with the wings and yeah. the wings celebrities. And yeah, yeah. So, what I do is I take a page out of that at the end of it. And I say, you know, you got this camera, this camera, and this camera. Y'all tell everybody out there how to get a hold of you and how to, uh, you know, <laughs> how to get a hold of Need Bill. <laughs> right on. Well, look, we're on uh, social media. You can get a hold of us anyway. Just at Need Bail Band is, is what it is. And uh, my name's Kirk Wendell Morgan. You know what I mean? And people call me Kirk Wendell, and I'm all over Facebook. But Wendell. I Wendell. I don't do a lot of uh, social media, though. But I, I got a Facebook page, and I keep in contact with all my friends. So that's me. Yeah. Come find yeah. me. Yeah, uh, just, uh, yeah, we're on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, Knee Toxic Bale. Fear. Yeah, yeah. Got a uh, drumming channel too, Toxic Drumming. I would say for me, hit the Knee Bale Facebook page, that one I actually know how to get into. Uh, <laughs> I've been trying to kind of keep it going a bit because Jared, once again, was our main social media guy. He was our uh, yeah. He knew all that. For personally, I do have a Facebook that's usually just friends, family. If you want to follow me on that, I just post a bunch of random funny beans. stuff. Uh, <laughs> on Instagram, I am Oseth at play as one word, and it's months. It's just kind of random stuff in my life. Like I, for the last two years, I've been going to the gym. I've actually put on fifty pounds. If you can believe that. Uh, and, like, I'll post stuff lately about my dog and cat because they keep fighting and how a pit bull loses to an eight-pound cat. I don't know. Um, they're soft. Everybody yeah. says, oh, they're yeah. endangered. No, they're soft. Oh, he, he's, he's a baby. Yeah. The cat's the one that picks the fights. And I'm just exactly. like, how do eat the cat? Yeah. Eat he a, no, he it doesn't eat on the it. cat. The cat is more deadly. Well, Did, another way y'all can everybody can get a hold of y'all is through also through the Cabana page. I know yeah, I know every single oh, yeah. one of y'all. Absolutely, oh, yeah. contact the Cabana. Yeah. We're all yeah. a really close yeah. musical family network. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You know, like okay. Well, to kind of wrap this up, guys, I uh, want to tell Nebel thank you. 
Thank, thank you, thank you, for, thank being you for having show. us. Yeah, thank thanks, yeah, thanks for being on the show. Uh, next weekend we have uh, Draven Morningstar. He's coming out, and you guys know who he is. Yes, we well. do. Yeah, awesome too. Yeah, it's like that. So remember to like and subscribe on the YouTube oh. channel. Uh, we'll see y'all next no, time.